You're watching Coin 6 News at 5.30, watching out for you. There have been several nights right here on Coin 6. As we've reported, homicides and shootings are at soaring record levels in Portland. Police, though, do have a new team on the streets designed to get a handle on this growing crisis. Yeah, since the start of the year, the focused intervention team has worked on gun violence cases at a time when Portland police officers are facing threats and even violence themselves. Liz Birch recently had the opportunity to ride along with members of that team and really graphically show us the dangers and the challenges they face. I did. We spent a whole evening with them. So for a little context, this formation came after the controversial decision by City Hall to disband the gun violence reduction team. After the violence grew, though, many community members criticized the city for not investing enough in police. So while the enhanced community safety team was formed after GVRT was disbanded to help investigate, FIT is often the team responding to these shootings and getting out into the community to hopefully prevent them. Audie Romick is a 12-year veteran of the Portland Police Bureau. In that time, he's seen a lot of changes to the city. Now it's just so much more dangerous than it's ever been. So, yeah. like if, you know, but um, yeah, Portland used to be one of my favorite cities. In his role with the newly formed focused intervention team, Officer Romick says they hear gunshots on their shift. Sometimes those shots are even fired at them. I was recently involved in a shooting and I actually was shot at and like, you know, by the grace of God, like I survived and like, you know, didn't die where I probably should have. Like I got really, really lucky. And, um, you know, it's kind of changed the perspective on like just life in general, but especially police work. Yeah. Like to me, like, you know, now that officially like somebody like actually tried to like shoot me, mm -hmm. like it's it's very different than like, you know, somebody saying, hey, you know, just I mean, maybe we'll see even here today, like people will yell at us and say like really horrible things. I'm going to hurt you. I'm going to do this and that. But most of the time, like, it actually doesn't happen. Uh, but, like, you know, like, having had, having had an experience that was so close, where now in my head, like, you know, I'm definitely thinking about it more. He says he feels lucky none of his colleagues have been hit by bullets. The fact that we haven't had a cop, like, shot and killed in, like, a long time is just, like, amazing. You know, like, it's, you're literally kind of playing, like, the lottery or playing the numbers. Like, it unfortunately is going to happen. You just like wonder, you're like, oh man, is it going to be me? Is it going to be like my buddies? As a Bosnian immigrant, he remembers living through their civil war. Sometimes going from shooting call to shooting call reminds him of being surrounded by that violence. Oh, I expected during wartime, but like in a civilized country like this. Now he and his colleagues are tasked with trying to intervene in that violence. Part of the Bureau's strategy of having the team is to provide a uniformed police presence in the city, including patrols like this one. Their goal, get illegally owned guns off the streets. In total, the Bureau says by early October, the team of 12 officers and two sergeants had responded to nearly 1,800 calls, made 139 arrests, seized 33 guns, and responded to 126 shootings. The team patrols areas where the shootings are concentrated. Tonight, we're driving through parts of the city where there have been recent homicides, the most recent just hours earlier. We're going to pull over a car real quick at 82 and Beach. A uh, guy pulled, like, a... Uh, picked up a potential prostitute. And while we rode with them, we saw them make a number of stops. Romick and other members of the team tell us the person they pulled over has several IDs that don't match, multiple phones and cash, and had a car that was outfitted to look like a police car. The driver is arrested, then released the woman he picked up, given resources. Another stop is for a traffic infraction. That car is let off with just a warning. Officer Romick says the team often responds to calls together. This is our team. So when we all are in the same area like this, like we're working today, <clears throat> if we make it, like if we let them know, like, hey, there's something off about this stop, like if everybody's close by, they would just normally stop by. As the night continues, they head to patrol another area. Like we gave this area like quite a bit of attention, driving back and forth, uh, letting people know like, hey, you know, we pulled over some people, so they saw the police lights in the area. So like, you know, like we've, we've shown a presence mm -hmm. that are, that's hopefully going to like keep the shenanigans down at least a little bit. And uh, now we're going to go to a different area, the Mall 205 area that also had a shooting last night where somebody got killed. And we're going to do the same thing we just did here. We're going to drive around and hopefully look, look for people that are doing something they're not supposed to. As they continue to make stops and drive around, Romick says you never know what to expect 
when you pull someone over. The gentleman that I was involved in the shooting with, like, he just had warrants. Like, you know, it's just like, he was maybe gonna go to jail for like a month or for or a week or a day, like you never know. And he decided to shoot at me and my coworkers. And like, so it's like that kind of stuff, like, like some of these people, like you just never know what you're stopping. You might pull him over because like, you know, his license plate is expired, uh, but you just don't know who this person is and what, what they're like running from or what, what they think I know, you know? Yeah. Maybe he thinks that I know that he did something bad and he's gonna try to run or fight me. Or he'll just pull over like that last guy and just like stop. At a time when law enforcement's job has maybe never been more dangerous in Portland, Romick says returning to the specialized shooting team after being shot at was a tough discussion to have with his family. But says he plans to stick with the focus intervention team and bureau. It was probably like beyond hard to be honest. Like my wife and mom and sister, they all wanted me to quit. <clears throat> Like it was very, it was a traumatic incident for the whole family. Um, like I said, they know that I'm a police officer and they know the job is dangerous, but I've never come home and said like, oh, hey, I almost died of this shooting, you know, like, so um, they were not happy with it. Um, they still all want me to do a different job, but you know, I still love this job and um, I'm not planning on going anywhere. So according to the Bureau so far this year, there have been more than a thousand shootings. You see it there that have injured more than 300 people and killed 69 people. And they say the total number of homicides, Liz, is 84. So that puts us roughly on pace with last year, which was, of course, as we said, a record year for the total number of homicides. Actually, I think it actually puts it on pace to possibly surpass that number. Yeah, it's been troubling last year and troubling this year, and that goes to show that officer how difficult it is. Right. He loves his job. Even his family members want him to switch gears, but he's staying true with this difficult uh, career. Liz, very eye-opening. Thank you. Thank yeah, you. and we talk about these statistics, Liz, mm -hmm. and we've all talked about this. Portland, way outpacing right. Seattle in mm -hmm. homicides, San Francisco in homicides, even San Diego and homicides. So on the West Coast, right. Portland's up there when it comes to these homicide rates. It is last year about double the number of Seattle's. Wow. Thanks, Liz. Great reporting there. Thank you. Well, how about